Hey, 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 it's Shell Anderson from Shell's Creative Corner and Shell Anderson Designs. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Winnipeg, Manitoba. I would like to thank you for joining me today for this uh, version of Stamp with Shell. And I have a really exciting surprise for you today. I am using a new stamp set that's going to be coming out in the 2021-2022 annual catalog in May. Unfortunately, I am not allowed to show you the stamp set. I can just show you the images that I've already stamped. I can't show you the stamps. I can't show you the stamp set itself, only the card. Okay, so you're still going to get to see one of the two of the images actually in this card. Um, and it's just kind of a little sneak peek of what's to come. And you are going to love this stamp set. It is a distinctive stamp set, which means that the artist has put some shading into the stamp and it is called um, Etched in Nature and it has nature images. All right, the first thing we're going to use for this card is a piece of old olive and it's eight and a half by five and a half scored at four at five. Let's try that again. Eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. Then I have a piece of cinnamon cider and it is a four by five and a quarter. Then I have basic black and it is, I can't remember, it is three and seven eighths by five and one eighths. And then I have a piece of uh, basic white that is three and three quarters by five. I used the stitched rectangles and the stitched shapes dies. And I have stamped the bird image already here because I'm not allowed to show you the stamp. So I pre-stamped the bird image. And I also pre-stamped the greeting that says cherish happy moments. All right, so we are going to work on our art piece and I am going to put this card together like so, but I wanna use my blending brushes and add some ink to the background. So I have my blending brush and some old olive ink. And I just have one brush for my greens. So you can see that this was used for greens, but there's nothing on there. So we're going to put a little bit, I'm just gonna bring this in for placement. I wanna put a green wash around the outside of this stitched circle. So I'm going to load this brush up with some ink and then I'm going to tap, 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 tap to get the excess off and I am just going to start swirling ink in this area and then we'll pop this on. It's good, but it's not out far enough. So let's try again and we'll swirl out further. Oh, I like that. See how that just gives it a little bit of pop. And then I wanted to do the same thing up here. Or so I thought, but I have another idea. You know me and stamping on the fly. I want to pull in the stitched rectangle dies. What did I do with them? Bear with me just a moment till I find them in this stack of dies rectangles right here. I want to step up one die a 
this is one die larger than this and I'm going to cut out of the middle of this black piece so you just bear with me I'm going to go off camera just for a moment and I am going to run this through the big boss and get us a stitched rectangle all right just as easy as that so I think maybe what I'll do is layer that up instead of adding trying to add rectangular ink if you know what I mean all right so we can get rid of our scrap paper and we can begin putting our card together now we're going to slide this over and we're going to color that in a minute but i'm going to bring in my card base and i'm going to lay it here in my scoreboard up tight in the corner with my fold on the right and i am going to add some adhesive to the back of this cinnamon cider piece and i'm going to put this together different I'm going to push this piece up into the corner like so and by using that board we know that it's going to be straight then I'm going to do the exact same thing with this piece of basic black and since this is just a layering piece I use the middle to cut out my <coughs> pardon me I have a dry spot in my throat I used um, the middle to cut out my tag because I have this layer going over top you're never going to notice it right all right so the final one we're just pushing it up into the corner and check that out isn't that cool there we go all right so now we can put our tag together and i think i'm going to pop this one up on dimensionals because after I color the bird, I'm going to put that one on dimensionals too. Oh, I don't want the minis, I want the full size. One in the middle. All right. So up here, something like that. And then we will bring this guy in and we'll just fold this over and use this scrap paper again. And I have chosen cinnamon cider mango melody and soft suede today and i'm going to use the mango melody on his beak and his legs and i might put just a titch in his tail here in his tail feathers I'm just going here and there and then I'm going to start with the, the light soft suede because I don't want this branch to be too dark I'm going to start with the broad tip too yeah I think if I had it went the other way it would have been too dark oh I see I missed a couple of his toes here 
There we go. All right, back to the soft suede light. Isn't this a beautiful image? I just love this set. And I know a lot of my girls are going to love this set. All right, so now we'll go to the light cinnamon cider. And I'm going to use the brush tip again and just lay on some color. And then we'll go back to the dark cinnamon cider and add some detail when I'm done here. I just want to get a wash of color on here. And in the tail, I'm just going to do the areas that I didn't do with the mango. All right, now, how about we grab just jade? Well, I guess this is shaded spruce. All right, I just want to do his eye. So we'll use light shaded spruce. Now we're going to go into the dark cinnamon with the bullet tip. And where the artist has already done some detail work, I'm just going over that. And in some areas I'm just doing little dots. And in other areas I'm actually stroking the ink on. All right. And now I'm going to go back to the light cinnamon and just blend it together. Maybe leave it a little light around his eyes. All right, I'm happy with that, just like so. And now, see how that pops with that little green halo around the back? I don't know what, if there is even is a technique for this, but I kind of call it a halo effect. And once again, I'm going to use dimensionals so that it has a little bit of lift. Get those paperbacks off and we'll pop this guy in place. And check that out. Isn't that cool? I love, love the images and the words in this stamp set and I know you're going to too. It's beautiful. I mean, most nature stamp sets are, right? Let's be honest, but I this one really stood out to me and this is actually the set that I got for attending on tour which is a mini convention online so this was sent to me early that's why I have this anyway I hope you enjoyed this card and um, I'm not putting any more embellishment on there I'm perfectly happy with just the way it is I think the stamp does beautifully I just like this different way of doing some layering it just kind of a little bit different than normal okay all right that's it for this video ladies I am glad that you joined me and I hope you enjoyed this video bye bye for now